There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl April. So, we're gonna jump right into this video. If y'all see me wearing this in another video or another video, that is because I do more than one video a day. So, I just gotta put that out there in case y'all be like, girl, you don't ever change your shirt. This one is from yourswigs.com. Yourswigs.com. I think the your should just be your wigs instead of yours, but. You know, I will talk to them about that. So they sent me this wig, and I do believe it, it's it's more or less kind of like, I don't know, everybody keeps calling everything a bob when everything isn't a bob. So I'm not even going to call it a bob, but it's a lace front, and it's a rather, sh on a shorter length, I, I want to think this is like 12, 14 inches. I'm not really sure, so everything that I'm not really sure about, I'll definitely post in the information box below for you guys. But it is a lace front, and you probably get about 4 inches of parting. There are 3 combs in the front, and then there's a comb, um, an adjustment strap in the nape there isn't a comb in the nape so I would just take this one right here in the middle because I don't use those and I'll put it right here um, it is a stretch cap and the hair is really soft now the one thing let me tell y'all something okay I think it's to me it, it looks like hundred and thirty percent density because it's a little bit on the thin side to me like I need a little bit more hair I'm gonna show you guys how I get more volume in my thinner wigs now the first thing I did was I went ahead and I tweezed a side part because I just like my part to be on the side definitely if it's like a shorter length wig and I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of my concealer honey okay and I'm gonna put that in the part and I also did tweeze the hairline because it was a little bit boxy so you know I, I had to just make it mine so I do have my wand curler and I'm gonna do like those beachy type waves like I did in a I had I had on in another video but I didn't show the tutorial so I'm gonna show you guys now all right, guys, so let's get into this. Now, you guys know I normally style all my wigs on a mannequin head. 99.9% .9 of them are styled on a mannequin head, okay? It just makes life so much easier, faster. You get, like, the perfect style. So I'm going to just try to wing this on camera because, you know, my arms are not equipped to just be, you know, the way my arms are set up, it's just not going to work out that great. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray some of my favorite hairspray on it, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze. This just helps with flyaways and also helps keep the curl. And I'm just going to section the hair off in little sections. I mean, it all depends on how big your barrel is. So I'm going to take my wand curler and I'm going to, as I am wrapping it around, I am kind of like twisting the hair. You see what I'm saying? So... Let's do go this again. I'm kind of like going too fast here, but as I'm wrapping it around the wand, I am kind of like twisting the hair. So it's not just going around, it's being twisted. And that's just going to give it beachy waves. But when you do this, you don't want to curl the ends. You want to kind of like leave the ends straight. You know, like, so kind of like leave yourself like a little tail end a little tail end that you're holding on to because that will keep it straight I mean it's basically each his own it's up to you sometimes I will curl the end sometimes I won't but for this particular look I'm just going to leave the end straight so you want to wrap it around and you don't want it to be too close but when you wrap it around you want to wrap and twirl if you look at my wrist you'll see the way the hair is going so watch my wrist I'm kind of like twirling my hand as I'm wrapping I'm twirling my twirling the hair around and that just gives like I said these beachy waves now the length of time that you want to keep the hair on the barrel I always count to like 15 seconds you know I'm not gonna stand here all day and be putting no hair on no hot curler I mean that's just not me y'all know I do not like to curl hair but the number one thing to curling hair is hairspray and mousse so normally what I do and I've already did it prior to the video is I use some mousse I like to use styling mousse I use um, the cream of nature one it doesn't really matter which brand but I will suggest don't get it from the Dollar Tree do not get your styling mousse from the Dollar Tree 
what you want to do is you want to kind of like put some styling mousse in your hair and brush it thoroughly. Don't saturate it, but just put a little bit. That will help with any flyaways, but it will also help hold the style. And I just spray a little bit of the Aussie Instant Freeze in it because this will also hold the style as well as that as I just finger comb it. I'm not going to use a comb to rake through it because, listen, I just sat here and curled these curls and waves or whatever you want to call it, and I'm not about to brush them all out. So I think for me, the safest thing to do it would be to finger curl it. Or finger comb it. Now the last hairstyle that I did this in was a little bit more fuller and that is because I did it on a mannequin head so I was able to just kind of like tweak it a little bit better and hold it a little bit longer. You know the way my arms and hands are set up they not set up for like holding hair back for too long on my own head you know I don't do those awkward positions when it comes to curling so yeah me curling a wig is always best on a mannequin head or a person's head you know but the person cannot be me so as for the most part the hairline is a little bit thick on this so I did have to tweeze it and as you see I did have to pull some of my own hair out in the front because for this particular one you definitely cannot just leave it on your hairline unless you're gonna go in with them tweezers and really tweeze and, and customize the hairline I didn't do that because for one the, the wig is really really inexpensive like their wigs on yourswigs.com is really affordable so if you're on a budget budget like a budget inside of a budget then you can definitely check them out the wig actually was super straight on the website it doesn't look anything like this and when it came to me and I looked at the picture I was like oh girl no we're not about to wear that hairstyle we're about to do something else plus to me it wasn't as thick as I like it so I definitely had to just put a little bit of flair in it so to me it looks a lot better than what it does on the website because it gets some body some flair and some fun and it just is like your own style but definitely check them out because they have a lot of units you will definitely have to customize like you do with anything but other than that let's continue on with this video girls all right you guys so this is the finished look um it all depends on the wig density and such um how old do i feel about the wig um it is a little on the thin side, like I said, so I definitely have to tweak it. It does need to be pre-tweezed in the front, so you definitely have to tweeze the hairline. But for the price, you can't beat it because it is on the more affordable side. But like I said, every wig, I think you have to make it your own. You just can't slap it on, even if it has the best hairline. Um, the hairline wasn't that bad, but I do think that it could use um, some tweezing. But for the most part, this is how I do my wigs. Now, normally when I when I do this, I always have a mannequin. I'm doing it on a mannequin head, so it comes out like a lot better than this. Like I could have did better than this on a mannequin head, and I really should have showed you guys like that. But you know, a lot of people don't have the mannequin, so you know you have to show just as it is. So if I do have a bob, it has to be like really, really curly or fun or loose wavy for me to be able to, you know, rock it. Other than that, I am not rocking it straight. So no. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure you um, leave them below. Um, check out yourswigs.com. I post all of the information for you guys, including any codes or coupon codes that I may have from them and as well as that stay diva and diva delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up because you love me so much omg i'm freaking john blazing right now like i'm so overheated okay i think it has a lot to do with the shirt it's by my neck in my room it's like so hot like it's probably like 110 degrees in my room at all times plus i have all the windows open for the lighting so that makes it like a million times worse so yes you guys so if i seem kind of like out of the norm or out of my vibe that's because i'm really hot right now and i have the fan blowing on me which is really not helping so i love you guys and check them out and i'll see you soon